do you think you could guess a knife based solely on its sound? My confidence was here at the beginning and now we're actually filming and it's down here. So we're gonna try it blindfolded. And if we can't guess it based on the sound, we have five seconds per knife to guess based on feel. And if you can't get it right, pickled egg juice. We're gonna put this in this decanter, which comes from the sponsor of today's video, Visky. But we'll get to that in a minute. Can't get it right, take a shot of pickled egg juice. Oh, delicious. There's nothing else left to do but guess some knives based on their sounds. So much fun. Let's do the damn thing. If you stick around, we're gonna pick three more knives that we didn't include in the ones that we chose. We're gonna open them off camera. And then the first person to guess all three knives correctly in the comments will get their choice of one of those knives that they guessed. So I'll be giving away one of those knives to the person that can guess all three correctly. The first person, technically. You know, with a whiskey bottle, this would be, this would be kind of easy to pour, but we're oh, pouring yeah. out of a wide neck jar. <laughs> Uh, and we didn't even bring towels or napkins or... <sighs> this is actually where I get the source of my power. It's just <laughs> sniffing egg juice in the morning. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll get we'll get napkins. Okay. Oh god, it's getting worse. <laughs> Have we taken this too far? <laughs> that's that's what we were, runs we've through. We've only my head. just begun. Yeah. That's what runs th runs through my head every time we talk about pickled eggs now. Have we taken this too far? Oh shit, dude, you missed that whole thing. <laughs> dude, that looks delicious. It looks, looks like Pink awesome. Whitney. <laughs> feel good about your choices? No. <laughs> you don't feel good about this? That doesn't give me a whole lot of confidence, dude. I feel like if these were given to me, I would get them pretty easily. Oh, but also, man. we're selecting for my knives. Yeah. So you're at a bit of a disadvantage to begin with. Oh man. All but right. you have handled pretty much everything in here. I have. I just don't know if I can retain it all. There's like so many. Man, that sounded <laughs> real snappy. Oh yeah, it is. It's very sounded snappy. Real snappy. Sounded like a frame lock. Okay, yeah, I'll go, I'll go one more time. Do you wanna hold it? Yeah, give me that five seconds. Five seconds. Front flipper. That's it. Oh man. Knife on the table. Oh man, front flipper. <laughs> I couldn't even tell. There was like a little bit of chamfering on everything. If I don't know the name, can I just say the maker? Sure. I'm gonna go with something from Wii. No. It's the CKF 520. Yeah, I haven't handled the, the 520 in a while. That was All good. right. You know what you got to do? Cheers to everybody watching. Cheers. It's great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> I, would rather, I would rather eat 20 pickled it's eggs a, it's at a once. It's a refreshing beverage. Sounds like another frame lock. Nice. Right, let me feel it again. Man, it's way harder on sound. Mm. Apparently, it's not easy on feel either. No. That's five seconds. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to get every single one wrong. You might get one right. Oh, man. I don't know. I, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with this one. I don't think that's it, though. Uh, maybe it's the Alley P. Oh, dude. You're so close. Oh, was it the Wolf? Yeah. I don't have an alley. I almost said, no, the other one. What was the other Lucas. one? Lucas. Lucas. Oh, yeah. I almost said the wolf P. The it's handle the didn't P. feel, the yeah. handle felt. Dude, you were right there though. That's oh. close. The handle what? did not feel as slim as I remember it feeling in the hand. That was close, but not close enough to get you out of some no. pickled egg juice. <laughs> Ugh. I think this next one's oh, gonna be tricky. Getting... What is that locking mechanism? <laughs> what the hell is that? All right, let me do the feel. All right, five seconds on the clock. 
It's my Carta. It's also oh, it's also a front flipper. Yeah. Oh, and there's a there's a a hole. Oh man. Oh, uh, the boa. Yes. Yeah. I, I thought that one would, <laughs> might be a gimme. Oh man. I, I was gonna do the Timascus one, the full dress. Yeah. But I thought that would give it away immediately because it's so smooth. Maybe. It's maybe, there, but I don't have another knife that's that smooth because it's yeah, polished. Yeah, but all smooth would have made it feel like it was just like titanium. Oh, I almost drank. Look at that. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of the spirits, so the sponsor of today's video, Visky, can help by making a really nice glass at the end of the day even better. Visky makes high quality barware and glassware, and during the development of their new products, they consult with professionals to make sure that their products not only look great, but also function great as well. They have everything from cocktail glasses and ice molds to barware and more specialty items like a cigar holder that has a flask built into it which is really neat. And the best part of it is that despite the quality and the products looking very, very nice, everything is priced very fair. Like this Alchemy double-walled aerating tumbler. It has an internal tulip shape that disperses ethanol and concentrates and diffuses aromatics for a better bourbon and sipping experience, and it's only 20 bucks. And these prism crystal tumblers come in a set of two and are made with lead-free crystal. They're weighty, they look and feel amazing, and the flared rim is a subtle touch that makes them feel especially nice. But my favorite is probably the Globe Decanter and Tumbler set. It's a 32 ounce decanter that's etched with the continents of the world and mounted at an angle on a wooden base with two matching tumblers. It's very unique and will definitely be a conversation piece for any at-home bar. And truth be told, I have struggled with giving gifts for a while now, mainly because everybody in my life just expects me to give them a knife or a wallet or a flashlight or some sort of EDC gear. But honestly, for the next holiday, birthday, or whatever reason I need to give a gift, I'm probably going to check Visky first because they have such a unique selection of stuff that I think most people in my life haven't seen before and would also appreciate. And the pricing is right. It's just a really good combination of all of the things that I would like to have in a gift for someone. And that's just me talking from the heart. Like, I think that Visky has some really cool stuff. Like, a cigar holder with a flask in it is ridiculous and really cool. Either way, if you want to give a really unique gift or even buy for yourself for your own at-home bar, check out Visky. Hit the link in the description down below and also at checkout use coupon code edc15 for 15 percent off your purchase and once again i want to thank visky for sponsoring this video huh that sounds like thick <laughs> that sounds big and I think I'm going to use the, the feel, and I think by the feel I'll know. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. What the hell is that? <laughs> Five seconds is up. Oh, it's the... Um, oh, man, I'm going to mess this up. It is the, Nir uh, the Nirvana. It is. Okay. Dang, I thought I might get you with that one. The reason I picked this is because I thought the sound might throw you off. Like, this is one that I know. As soon as yeah. I hear it, I know a Nirvana. Yeah. But I thought the feel might throw you off. So far, so good. Hey, rough start. Oh. Oh, what is that? That's a, um, oh man, I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna guess the name right, but I know that sound. It is a Herman Stinger, maybe? Yeah, I'll give you that. It was it? A Her, it's a Herman Sting. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that, that, -dink. it's got a hollow kind of springy. Yeah. They all sound like that too. Yeah. Every single Herman knife. Yeah, that was All great. right. All right, three. I got my three. I'm happy. Three. I got my three. If I can do four, then I'd, I'd feel even better. Hmm, that was pretty snappy. Okay. Oh, that is heavy. <laughs> that is so heavy. Oh, I know what this is. This is this is a uh, a Shiro, a Shirogora. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get the name right. The only one I've ever owned is the F ninety five zero, but I don't know which one you have. This is the F ninety five RT. RT, yes. Yeah, so T is the turtle milling. Yeah. And R is revision. I think it just means that it's uh, refined. Yeah, a little bit. Hell yeah. All right.
That's a button lock, isn't it? It sounds like a button lock. Makes me think of, of, of one of ours. All right, let me do the five seconds and I think I'm between two right now. Oh, oh knife down. <laughs> it's not what I was thinking. It's not, it's not a Malibu. I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go with the pyrite, but it does not feel like a pyrite. It is not a pyrite. What was it? Kaiser Assassin. Oh man, yeah. I chose I it because it does have a distinct sound. Yeah. They've got a, it's, it's just. It's <laughs> not, at first with a little bit of stick, I'm like, oh, it's our, it's our Malibu. It's the Kerry Commission Malibu. Then I'm like, mm, that didn't feel like a Malibu. I don't even know the name of that knife. The Assassin. The Assassin. Not bad. Not like super thrilled, but. I, I'll be happy if I do that well. Sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. All right. All right, one. Ready? Oh, right. that's two. That's the one. Ahoy. Dang. Good job. That is the Ahoy. That is the Ahoy. Let me guess. I thought since it's fairly new, I thought you wouldn't, you wouldn't guess it. So I went to the bathroom, and I was like, if he chooses Ken's knife, I need to know the name. <laughs> and I'm sitting there peeing, and I'm like. <laughs> Carbon, carbon, ahoy. Damn. <laughs> that was literally the knife that I was afraid you would pick. Damn. <laughs> Sweet. All one right. for one. One for one. All right. I knew it sounded familiar too, because I <clears throat> carry it a lot. Mm. It's high pitched. Uh huh. Ooh, that close. It's a flipper. I think. One more. Yeah, we're Ready? just going for it. We're just going for it. Oh, that's a Falcon. Damn. <laughs> that's a Fair and Forge Falcon. My guy. Man. <laughs> this guy worried that he was going to do bad and he's guessed all well, of them right so far. As soon as I touch it, I know <laughs> I've handled all these so much. Frame lock. Mm -hmm. I can tell that. I can hear the frame closing. I'm gonna go for right, it. Ready? Two. Ooh, that is the giant mouse ace Sonoma. Damn, dude. Yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is starting. This is starting to feel like cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely wouldn't have guessed that one on sound. Ever. Nah, he, ever. He definitely has a camera rigged up in here. <laughs> You saw me pick every night. Ooh. One more. They all start to sound so similar. All right? <laughs> I'm gonna have to hold it. Okay, three, two. Ooh, oh, that's a minimalist. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, this, isn't, this isn't fun anymore. <laughs> this isn't fun. <laughs> I've handled a lot of knives, man. <laughs> this is my fear going right into it. Did I not say that at the beginning of the video? It's got that kind of like, almost like a thud when it closes. Uh -huh. Almost a double tap on the close too. And one more. Ready? Yep. Ooh. Oh, you're getting close to the mic. Oh, oh. that is the uh, Berg Iron Wolf. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I will be... Oh, uh, man. I want to get one wrong. I want some pickled egg juice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I want you to get one wrong too, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think hey, if I get one wrong, I'll just chug it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's got a little crispiness to it. Mmm. One more. I want to get one on sound, man. But I have no idea. It's hard. Like, they do literally yeah. almost all sound that, the same. I mean, that's definitely a frame lock. Ready? Oh. What? You're using two hands? Yeah, that was <laughs> a cheater. That's not <laughs> cheating. Uh, yeah, cheater. Ooh. That one might trip me up. Because I, I want to say Vero, the first thought in my mind once I touched it mm -hmm. was um, the Axon. Mm -hmm. But I'm... I didn't feel that back of the blade. I want to, mm, I want to say voodoo because it felt like it had some micarta, but it, it, five seconds is not a lot of time. Voodoo is your final answer? Yeah. Well, you're wrong. Damn. <laughs> was it I right? Was I was axon. right. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. it was the axon. You were close. Well, I mean, I, what about this? What I was trying to do voodoo. with two hands is I was trying to get here and uh, feel the, that, the that harpoon. Yeah, we'll chug. Yeah, buddy. Oh, baby. Oh, I missed a little bit. <laughs> sweet, sweet deliciousness. All right. <laughs> <I'm back. laughs> oh, God. He's got you dying. <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh. That's a button lock. Pretty sure. Kinda, kinda sounds like the Malibu. Ready? That is not, that, that is the pyrite. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I honestly think what we should have done is put your hands behind your back and then I should have just like rubbed it on your face. <laughs> And then that it might way, have been a fair video. Yeah, though. and then yeah. that way we could have we could have gone. The sound I got nothing. I can tell like frame lock from button lock and yeah. auto, and I can tell some stuff about it. Yeah, but it's it's not as easy as I thought it would be to guess based on sound right. at all. Not even close. It goes yeah. to show. I thought this whole time I'm like, there's no way this man knows every knife he owns, and surprisingly he does. Except, I mean, I did Apple. say Axon before I said Voodoo. You did. To be fair. You did. I was like heavily swaying you not to though. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> I felt your energy and I was like, you know yeah, what? Yeah. I trust Ricky. Okay, so the first knife for you guys to guess in the comments. Should be easy enough, That's honestly. too easy. Too good, easy. Good, good. Because this is way harder than we thought. Mm -hmm. Knife number two. And knife number three. Do your worst. All right, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, let us know in the comments down below if you want to see something like this in the future. Maybe guessing more knives or some sort of variation of this. It was a lot of fun, honestly. Probably one of the most fun videos I've shot at this table. So let us know what you think about it in the comments down below. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, carry on. And go follow Ricky. Carry on. And if you're following him, unfollow. <laughs> and then and refollow. Then follow, and then follow again. <laughs>